Raised blood pressure, the so-called hypertension, is a risk that remains unnoticed frequently. You do not feel it, and hardly or very rarely can you notice clear symptoms. For this reason, the most important action to avoid the risk of unknown hypertension is regularly measuring the blood pressure. But what exactly is blood pressure? Blood pressure refers to that pressure which the blood exerts on the vascular walls. With every beat, the heart pumps blood into the circulation. In order to be able to take up a larger volume of blood during every stroke, the elastic vessels extend. During the following relaxation phase, the blood is transported into the peripheral regions of the body. According to that, the blood pressure depends on the pumping force of the heart on the one hand and on the elasticity of the blood vessels on the other hand. During blood pressure measurement, two different values are of interest. The maximum pressure during the heartbeat, the systolic value, as well as the minimum pressure between two heartbeats, the diastolic value. In order to take a blood pressure reading, a cuff fitted to the upper arm or the wrist is pumped up until the blood flow in the arteries is stopped for a short time. When the pressure is released afterwards, the sensors measure the pulsating vibrations of the artery in the classical oscillometric method. Using this method, an algorithm is used to calculate the two blood pressure values. In order to obtain especially precise results, the medical practices today rely primarily on the so-called Karatkov method, which is also referred to as the auscultatory method. Unlike the oscillometric technique, the Karatkov method takes into consideration the so-called Karatkov sound apart from the pressure pulse. The first muffled pulse sound, which is audible when the cuff pressure is released, represents the systolic pressure. When the pulse sounds die away, the unit measures the diastolic value. For the first time, tensile duo control combines both measuring techniques in one unit. As the sensitive microphone used to pick up the pulse sounds is not located in the cuff, but in the unit itself, tensile duo control is especially resistant to interferences. The reliability of tensoval duo control has been tested successfully in everyday clinical work and has been confirmed in various studies. The measuring process as such is really easy. In order to achieve reliable results, some rules have to be observed. Sit down and relax. Push the cuff up to your undressed upper arm. The cuff should have a tight fit, but should not be too tight. You should be able to push two fingers between the cuff and the upper arm. For the right measuring position, lay the arm on a support with the palm of the hand upwards. The cuff has to be at the height of the heart. Now switch on the unit by pressing the blue Start Stop button. Immediately afterwards, the cuff starts pumping up automatically. Please do not speak or move during the entire measuring process. Whilst the pressure escapes from the cuff, the heart symbol and the dropping pressure in the cuff is shown on the display. When the signal is sounded, the measurement has come to an end. The display shows the systolic and the diastolic value at the same time, and the pulse value is given below. Note down your results in your blood pressure diary. In order to be able to observe regular measuring times when you are out and about, the Tensoval product line offers mobile devices for measurements on the wrist. It is important for mobile measurement that the device fitted to the wrist is held at the height of the heart. By regularly checking the blood pressure values, hypertension can be recognized early. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, the systolic value should be less than 120 ideally, and the diastolic value less than 80 in adults. If several measurements on different days produce a value of 140 over 90 or more, you should seek medical advice. If hypertension is recognized in an early stage, today it can be treated well by a change of life, diet, or movement habits, or by medicine tolerated extremely well. 
Regular checkup is decisive for a diagnosis in good time.